We'll continue to see clearing skies through the overnight hours tonight with mainly clear skies and quiet conditions overnight tonight. We will see some chances for rain though. Hopefully in our near future, we need some much needed rainfall as uh, we just barely got a little bit about two one hundredths of an inch of rain uh, by late this morning, early afternoon hours. Currently outside, we're sunny in Rochester. Temperatures at 73 degrees right now. Wind still out of the north at about nine miles per hour. Feel like temperatures right at the actual air temperature with dew points now down into those mid 50s. As we look at current temperatures, 74 right now in Plainview, 72 in Northwood, and 74 in Mason City. So we'll continue those mid 70s throughout the night tonight. Good chance dropping down into the 50s overnight tonight because of those clearing skies. We've had those showers and thunderstorms uh, pretty much stay well to the south of I 90 through eastern Iowa and then eventually into uh, Illinois. And here's a six hour time loop and you can see uh, very strong thunderstorms moving through Davenport through Peoria and eventually through the Chicagoland area. And now we have severe thunderstorm warnings all the way down uh, through portions of Michigan, uh, still in Illinois and in Indiana. So we just missed out that stayed just to the south of Waterloo and Mason City uh, through most of the morning and early afternoon. So quiet conditions will be in store for us tonight. I still think we have a couple isolated rain chances. Hopefully we can get some accumulating rainfall because we are a little dry across uh, southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. Several rain chances in the near future. I think Thursday into Friday may be our best chance for some widespread rain. Still low confidence though, unfortunately, in those rainfall amounts. This week, mild temperatures on the way. Uh, low Lower 80s likely all week, at least through Monday through extending through Saturday. And then we're dipping down into uh, at least those 70s potentially by the upcoming weekend for Sunday into Monday. So dipping into those 70s by Sunday and Monday. So here's that temperature trend through the rest of the week. Notice very steady 82, 81, 82, 82 and through at least Friday. More lower 80s on Saturday, then dip down into the 70s for Sunday. I think that 70 trend potentially continues into next week. So let's see if we have any rainfall here on future track through the overnight hours tonight. Quiet conditions, wind still out of the north to the north northwest. Temperatures by tomorrow morning dropping down mid 50s. Now as we continue to move through the day on Tuesday, we shift winds just a little bit more or less out of the south southwest. Temperatures warming up will be into those lower 80s for highs on Tuesday. We'll see mostly sunny skies, quiet conditions with high pressure dominating the forecast. As we move through the day on Wednesday, high pressure continues to move off to the east. We'll switch those winds a little bit to the south southeast and maybe build in the chance for a little bit of moisture uh, off to the west of I 35 by Wednesday afternoon. Starting to see some chances through Mankato, Albert Lee, Mason City, the cities by about two, three o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. So those rainfall chances, uh, very isolated Wednesday and still looking at Thursday and a Friday being our best chance for some isolated showers and thunderstorms this weekend. I think we're mainly dry both Saturday and Sunday. Tonight we're at 54 for the overnight low cooler conditions tonight with those temps dropping down into those uh, mid 50s. As we look at tomorrow, 82 degrees for the high, nice and mild for temperatures tomorrow. I think dew points will stay probably lower 60s. So it won't be too bad outside. Isolated shower chances coming up Wednesday afternoon. And then again, our best chance for some rainfall Thursday into Friday. That'll do it for your weather authority forecast. Caitlin, back to you.